it seems more and more people are becoming vegan for health reasons, not just because of issues around animal rights and the environment. This can be seen in the rise of so-called part-time vegans, is how they've been dubbed in some quarters, who take up the diet for short periods. Uh, for those that don't know, the diet consists of no meat, no fish, no dairy and no eggs. There's a campaign on at the moment called Veganuary, get it? Where people commit to the diet for just the month of January. And so far, that's recruited over 3,000 people. Uh, Juliet Galatly joins us, nutritional expert and founder of the vegan and vegetarian group Viva. Hi, Juliet. Hello. As well as TV presenter Jasmine Harmon, who is taking part in Veganuary. So, Jasmine, how's your Veganuary going? Are you missing your Vermeer? My Veganuary or my Veganuary? <laughs> Either. <laughs> it's actually going really well. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, you're not missing the meat then? Well, I'm vegetarian anyway, so I've right, been vegetarian okay. for over 30 years. Um, so for me, it's been cutting out dairy, eggs, all the sorts of animal products, and that includes things like chocolates, um, cake, you know, ordinary cakes. Yeah. Cheese is one thing that, you know, I think that's been probably the most difficult thing for me to, to say goodbye to for the month of January because I love cheese. I even had a cheese-themed wedding. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. How is this... How has it affected you? Have you had any adverse, either, either physical or mental reactions? Adverse reactions? No, none at all. I've had lots of really good reactions. You know, I... I you've I, not been shaking or you've not been thinking, where's that, where's that cheese gone? <laughs> well, a little bit. I had a pizza the other night with no cheese on it, which was a new experience. But do you know what? It was actually really tasty. And, you know, after you have a pizza, you always feel a bit dirty, don't you? But in this case, I, I didn't. It was really clean. It tasted really nice and not greasy, but really tasty. So, no, I haven't had any adverse reactions. And, in fact, in the first 16 days of January, I managed to lose half a stone without even trying. So that was pretty good. Wow. That's Especially impressive. Especially I've just had a baby, so I've got all the baby weight to lose. Oh, congratulations. Thank um, you. Juliet, what do you make of... Um, why now, really? Why now? Why do you think it's catching on now? 3,000 in this latest campaign and uh, a, yeah. rise, a rise all round in the number of people who are going vegan? Yes, definitely. It's um, a trend that's been happening for um, at least two decades. Viva's been going 20 years and I've seen massive changes. And it's two reasons. Obviously, there's the animal reasons as people become aware of factory farming and um, every survey done, almost the whole population is against it. Um, on the health side, it's because... We're just so much more well-informed. We know for sure now that with dairy, for example, when I did my three-year nutrition course, every lecturer was absolutely anti-dairy from um, a health perspective, and that's because milk has got 35 hormones in it, including real mammalian estrogen and progesterone, which men certainly should not be consuming, let alone women. Um, and we know that it's linked to things like acne, and we know that, for example, cheese is so high in sat fat, saturated bad fats that it makes your body make bad cholesterol. So dairy is linked to heart disease. It's linked to certain cancers, especially breast and prostate cancer in men. Um, and and the, people are coming much more well-educated about these subjects, and they don't want to be consuming a product, which at the end of the day is just a very a really good sell from the dairy industry because we're a mammal, and like every other mammal on the planet, we're meant to stop consuming milk at weaning. And we're certainly not meant or designed by nature to consume the milk of another species altogether. And, of course, we're not calves. We are human beings. <laughs> we, we, we're in the group, the family group of great apes. My original degree was zoology, so I find this fascinating. But we are definitely a great ape. We're not calves. Um, you know, the, the actual composition of milk of a cow is very different from human milk. So we're just not designed to consume it at all. But we do... We pay the price, and people are just voting with their with their purses, really, and choosing a healthier, better way of eating. But the caveman diet that we that we maybe were designed for it does involve meat, doesn't it? Well, we started eating meat as a scavenger yeah. um, about one and a half million years ago, but it was in a minute quantity compared with what we consume today. And in our 60 million evolutionary history, for the vast majority of it, we haven't eaten meat at all. Um, these days, we're eating factory farmed largely meat a lot of people on a daily basis and this planet can't sustain it how the animals are treated as abhorrent and from a health perspective as a nutritional therapist I see the results in the people that I treat on a one-to-one -one basis and um, get them better through them helping themselves through them cutting out all animal products meat and dairy and um, seeing them get well again which is a very pleasurable thing to do uh, Juliet, thank you for joining us. Go on, Jasmine, just remind me, then it's Veganuary, right? That, well, that's what I've been told. It sounds a bit funny otherwise. But it's interesting what, what Juliet's saying there about um, human milk, because I'm 
breastfeeding a baby and that's part of the reason why I also wanted to take part in in veganuary because of passing on all those hormones that cows have that go into dairy products onto my baby and I, I sort of felt really uncomfortable with that so that was also part of the reason for me and you know looking into it I, I really feel that it's the best thing for my health and my baby. Will you, will you keep it up? Will you carry on being vegan after January? I, I'm not sure at the moment. Because you miss your cheese? Well no you know what I'm not missing it half as much as I thought I would funnily enough but I think that the difficult thing is eating out and I went out the other day and, and, and the vegan option I was offered was macaroni cheese without the cheese. Well, if you look at that, it's, that's just boiled pasta, really. So that was a bit, a bit embarrassing for the restaurant. But, you know, that, that's the difficulty. So I'm thinking maybe vegan five days a week or something and then have a, one or two days off. Because even that, I think, is a, is a step in the right direction. Thank you both very much. Fascinating discussion. Jasmine Harmon, who's taking part in Veganuary. V January and Juliet Gillately, who's a nutrition expert and founder of the vegan and vegetarian group Viva Eleven Thirty Three, on digital radio, digital TV, mobile, and online. This is BBC Radio Five Live.